Hello YouTube, I'm APC and this is the first tutorial in our retro game series. This is a, a, a series for the program Game Maker. If you've never heard of Game Maker, please refer to my Catch Con series where I cover all the basics of Game Maker. So, retro game series. Um, this uh, series is going to be where I'll show you how to make several um, classic games or, or retro or well known popular games. Because it's a little hard to decide what to name it because I, I just want to do whatever I feel like showing you guys. So with that, today for the first one, I'm going to show you how to make a helicopter. Helicopter um, is a very popular game a while ago and it's all over the internet right now. It originally came from www.cthrough.co.uk and it was made by David McCandless and Leandro Barreto. Dave McCandless is now an award winning writer for his newest book is Information is Beautiful. The other one, the other guy who made this is Leonardo Barreto. I, I think he's been helping uh, people online with technical stuff for, for a long time because he has his own website, but it's in, I think, Italian or Spanish and like that, so I really don't know. So, with that said, let's get on to the tutorial. So, they start off making two sprites. So, right sprite, SPR, player. Player. So the color scheme for the helicopter game was gr green with a black background, so I'm going to make the player sprite just a lime green. And then the SPR solid. This is also a good sort of greenish color, but first I'm going to take a darker sort of green and fill it in. Then I'm going to put a little design on there with the lime green. and then like a random plus. Alright, so the sprites, let's create an object, obj player, put player, sign sprite, create object, obj solid, spr solid, make sure it's solid. Okay, so for the player, we'll start out in the sub event. So, as you probably know, the helicopter game, he's always moving to your right and down if you're not doing anything else. So, to make it move to the right, we'll do x plus equals 8 and y plus equals 6. And then we got to program um, for it to move when you click. So it's important to go to global mouse rather than left button. You have no idea how many times I've made the mistake of clicking left button rather than global mouse left button. Yeah, it's got to be irritating so on several occasions. So for this, let's do y minus equals 10. So if you remember, we had the normal going downwards at x plus 6. So we got to make sure this one... It is larger because if we make this one x plus three and while owns x plus six, they'll still go down even though you're clicking the button. And then for the collision with the solid, we'll make the game restart. So I'm gonna program that to type in game underscore restart. Rest restart. There we go. I can't type today. And that's about it. Now let's make a quick room. Make it extra long since um, that's how the helicopter game is designed. So let's go with like 2,000. Now I'm just going to make a, a room quickly. And you can try and follow along, but more than likely you'll want to make it your own design. So once you've made your room, go to Views, Enable Views, this is when room starts. These defaults are perfect for what we want, so just leave it that way. Have it follow OBJ Player. The V-Board doesn't matter, make sure that the h bore is more than half of 640, so we'll just make it 400. Now let's test it out. So let's see, it's moving to the right and down, and when it hits the solid, it restarts, and when I click 
it goes upwards and when and the view is falling okay perfect so that is the basis of the game now I, I feel like that wouldn't be enough just to tell you that so I'm gonna add one more thing in the um, game you'd first click before it starts and as you saw in the beginning it'll just continuously restart over and over again and that looks unprofessional so let's make it so that it'll sort of freeze in the beginning until you click just like in the real game so let's first create a font let's just call it font I don't care what font we use let's go with Arial Greek yeah sure size 48 seemed to work pretty well last time I tried this let's go with OJ player the creation event create a variable it's called start the creation event the label false alright let's go to step event so we don't want this to happen if you haven't started yet so we'll type, type down if start equals true then what this stuff will happen and the same thing for this if start equals true you should be colliding with it if you're not moving so that's not necessary but this one is if start equals true have that happen now let's work on drawing the text go to the draw event drag in your code so as I said in previous trails whenever you put put in code in your drawing event you have to restate the drawing of your normal sprite so first let's do that first draw sprite spr player 0 x y then that's where we're going to text if start equals false draw text make it 240 240 so it'll show up roughly in the middle and we'll use this string click to start click to start there. Now I've got set the settings for the game, so first do let's do draw set color. So draw set color. This could be on a black background, so green color will work perfectly here. And then we gotta set the font. Draw set font. And we just call it font, so type in font. So here it is. It, I see it's frozen pretty well. And I'm clicking. It should start. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot something. That's the importance of testing it out so that you can know. So the globe left button, that's when we want to start. So if start equals false, we want to start the true. That's for the tutorial. I hope you maybe learned something. All right, that's for the tutorial. There were several things I missed from the real game, but this is basically the, the main thing would be the random generation that the game has, which is really good. I, I've I've tried to um, make that before. Here's a little snapshot. Be trying. Yeah, so it's really hard. I, I would um, show you how I did that, except it's nearly impossible to make it get harder as time goes on. And it's extremely inefficient. It'll take a lot of credit and comfort. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can PM my YouTube channel. You can email me at the email that's found on my channel. Because my email will probably change. Yeah, thanks for watching. And here are the credits.